I've been wanting to make a chainsaw holder to mount to my tractor for a while now. It's just one of those things I've been putting off and then every time I need to bring my saw with me, I end up getting frustrated and kind of fighting with it because I don't have anywhere to put it. So I can kind of carry it in the seat with me or if I have the bucket on, uh, I could put it in there, but sometimes that gets in the way. So there's not really a good spot for it. So I figured it's time to make an actual spot for it. I kind of went back and forth on where to put it. I thought about making something behind the seat here maybe, um, but I decided to mount it to the side of the loader arm right here. I've seen other people mount them there before. Um, there's some manufactured chainsaw sleeve holder type things. I haven't really looked into them too much, uh, but I figured it was easy enough that I could make it myself. So that's where a lot of people put them. I think that's a pretty good spot. It's gonna stick out a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. So I got this small sheet of plastic on Amazon. It was like 20 bucks. Uh, it's a quarter inch thick, and it's like, a, it's like a harder, dense type of wear plastic. I don't remember the name of it, but it seems pretty sturdy. So I'm gonna use that for the main sleeve. And then this is the general idea. The saw is going to be vertical, so I'm going to cut, figure out the width I need, and then cut two pieces of the sheet to sandwich the bar on it. So I'll cut two pieces like this wide, one for the bottom, one for the top, and then I need to cut two little strips for the outside and then uh, to make like a, like a holster. And then I got to figure out how to bolt it together and then mount it to the loader arm. So it's a little bit tight the gap in there to slide the bar in and out. I want it, I want it a little bit looser than that, but I don't want to double those up. I think that would be too loose. So instead, when I go, when I go to bolt these together, um, I'll probably just put a washer in between maybe to give it a little more gap. This is quarter inch thick. If I had like three eighths, probably would have been perfect, but I wasn't thinking about that. But I think a wash will be fine. And then if over time, this might they might bow out too. So it might loosen it up and I could probably take those washers out uh, if it gets all sloppy. So now I'm gonna bolt, probably put like three bolts on each side to sandwich that together. And then to mount it to the loader, it's gonna be a little tricky, mostly because this pin sticking out so I have to get past that pin and it's like an inch, little over an inch to get past that pin. So I'm gonna make some kind of steel bracket uh, to bring that plastic sleeve out and then figure out how to bolt it to that arm. I'm not gonna put nuts on here yet because I think I'm gonna use these to mount to the metal, metal bracket 
that's gonna mount to the uh, loader. I think that's a good tolerance with that washer in there. I have this piece of tube, I think it's inch and a half by two and a half or something like that. But I'm gonna, it's, it, the inch and a half sticks out far enough for the pin on the loader arm. So I'm gonna rip this in half on both sides. So I'm gonna make like a C channel and then I'm gonna have two of them. So the C channels, the one part's gonna mount to these and then it's gonna come up and the other part of the C I'm gonna mount to the loader. So that's it, pretty simple really. And I think it's a good, there's good clearance there. The only thing I gotta just bevel the, the top here cause it catches a little bit on the teeth. But if I bevel that, I think it'll slide in pretty good. The only problem I'm seeing is I want it up pretty much as high as it can go. You probably can't see on the camera, but I think this part of the saw is going to hit this pin. It's going to be close. I'm going to get it mounted on the arm and then see if it hits. So I was thinking about it and I thought I wanted this thing up pretty high, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go like right there, pretty much as low as almost from hitting that pin somewhere like that. So the saw is not sticking way up and I don't have to pull it up and out of the thing too high. I was trying to stay up to avoid that pin, but I think I'm gonna hit it anyways. So I'm probably just gonna end up cutting most of that pin off. I don't know why it needs to be, I don't think it needs to be sticking out like that. It's got a keeper pin on this side. So I'm just gonna cut that thing off if it's in the way. I'm gonna get this mounted and then make sure the saw doesn't hit it. So I'm gonna try to get four bolts in it two on the top and two on the bottom and this is like maybe three sixteenths or something i think it's enough to get some threads in it so i'm gonna pop four holes and then uh tap them and then i'll be able to sneak some bolts from the top and the bottom hopefully
So it goes in and out of there okay, but it's definitely hitting that pin. Or, I mean, it, scra it scrapes it a little bit. It's, I'm gonna be fighting it every time I pull it out and put it in, so I'm just gonna cut this off. Um, I don't see why it needs to be sticking out, especially with this keeper. I mean, it's, I'm probably never gonna take it out. So I definitely don't wanna come out with this mount anymore because it's already sticking out a little bit. I just gotta be careful with branches and stuff. It's not terrible. So if I cut that pin, I think it'll be a lot better. I don't know about any other of my saws too. I mean, I primarily use this one out in the woods. So let me cut that pin. So that's a lot better. I'm happy with that. Plenty of clearance now. There's a little more wiggle room front and back, like that way, than I kind of wanted, but I gotta drive it around and see how much it bounces. I might be able to tighten that up. And then we'll see how much I didn't wanna I didn't wanna close this off because of the length of a bar. You know, I didn't want to limit to a certain length and just crap would collect in there. So I did want it open, but I didn't think about, I don't know how much mud, I mean, I'm not going that fast, but if a bunch of mud and crap starts getting all over the bar and chain, I might have to make some kind of mud flap, but I don't think it will be too bad to find out. So I'm gonna take this thing apart um, and get some paint on that steel and then put it back together and drive it around the woods, bounce it around and see how it holds up. 